Hi, I'm Paul with RackAttack.com, here to show you the RhinoRack series of rooftop ski and snowboard carriers. Here we have one of the four different sizes that are offered in the series. All of them have the same features and construction. They are constructed with extruded aluminum with a durable black anodized finish, UV resistant plastics, and rust proof metal materials including the spring along with mold resistant rubber which is very pliable and designed to accommodate a wide range of different thicknesses of skis and snowboards. It has built-in security with the Rhinorack Master Series lock cores and keys. There is a very easy to operate release button with or without gloves on. These carriers mount to a wide range of different crossbars in two different methods. So first, out of the box, you have pre-installed the upper portion of the universal mounting method. I have the complete universal mounting method disassembled so that you can see how it's designed. You have the upper portion and the lower plate along with two fasteners. Those fasteners are special security fasteners which require the included hollow point hex key so that prevents a standard hex key from being inserted giving you a good level of FEP deterrent. This portion here is what attaches the hardware to the carrier. Also if you prefer a different method of mounting which is a T-track method you would disassemble this portion from the carrier and remove this fastener, this is referred to as a T-slot fastener or a square headed bolt. And we'll go ahead and show how this is used for mounting into the Rhinorack Vortex load bar. We have that mocked up over here. So here you can see actually both methods. So this is the T-track method and as you can see it offers low profile, a very clean integrated method of attachment as well as giving you the full length of the bar for mounting so there is no interference with any legs that may be attached on the underside you can mount anywhere along the length of the slot on your vortex load bar or other compatible bar that in contrast to the standard more universal type method it does sit up slightly higher and you do have to avoid other obstacles that may be attached on the underside of the bar. Generally, that would be the legs that attach to the roof of the vehicle. Okay, so now on the screen, we're showing all the different sizes. There are four sizes. Here is the 574, which can accommodate four sets of skis or two snowboards. Here's the 573, and that can accommodate three skis and generally one snowboard. And then this is the 572, which can accommodate generally two pairs of skis. Here you can also see it being used with fishing poles, which is a common use. It can also be used with the ski poles as well, so it offers lots of versatility there. Here you can see the ski poles. We have all the exact measurements in the description on this video so that if you want to know exactly the clamping area so that you can measure out your particular gear to make sure it's compatible with one of the sizes that's all referenced conveniently in the video description below so those are all the main features of the rhino rack series of rooftop ski and snowboard carriers this product and the full line of rhino rack products are available at rackattack.com please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. If you have any questions or comments about this particular product, feel free to leave those in the comments section below and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2,000 rack related videos and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one and thanks for watching.